Hi guys, welcome to Mask It by K. Thank you so much for watching. So today in this video we have October's Boxy Charm, and I am so excited, you guys, for uh, this video because October marks my first year with Boxy Charm. It's my first anniversary. I am so excited and so happy because I absolutely love Boxy Charm. I think it's definitely worth it. And if you guys are not familiar with Boxy Charm, uh, Boxy Charm is a monthly subscription box. Um, you used to pay $21 a month, but now starting November the 1st, it goes up to $25. It's only a $4 difference, you guys, and I think it's definitely worth it. Also, the value of the box will be going up to $125, uh, and basically, it's worth it. I definitely recommend it, and I'll go ahead and leave it down in the description box, a link, so you guys can go ahead and check them out. So today we're going to be going over what's in this month's box and also I'll be giving a little quick tutorial on this look that I'm wearing. I absolutely love it and I want to share it with you guys. So let's go ahead and get this video started. And guess who's back? My cat. Uh, little cop is so freaking cute. I absolutely love it. I need the coffee because man... I am sl I'm the one sleepy girl. Anyways, you guys, so this is the little card thing that it comes with. And October's theme is After Dark. And let's go ahead and get started with the first product, which is going to be the Go To Beauty Sheet Mask Set of Two. So let's go ahead and get those out. So these are the sheet masks um, that came in. And basically, you just... Take them out of the package and just put uh, put them on in a clean face. I just took a shower, so I definitely have a clean face. And it says to relax for 10 minutes. So this is what they look like. So you guys can go ahead and check them out. So yeah, let's go ahead and try these. It says a natural antibacterial, cleans out pesky acne, promote quick healing from scarring and sunburn. Okay. We'll see about that. I do have some acne going on in here. Oh, and these retail for $19.98. I'm glad it came in this month's box because my skin right now, it is so freaking dry. And I actually did a sheet mask yesterday too i don't know what's going on y'all i'm about to look crazy so don't judge me don't come for me All right, I don't know why it's in the brows. It usually doesn't like go in the brows, but oh, I guess. <laughs> so let me go ahead and leave this on for 10 minutes and I will be right back, you guys. A few moments later. All right, you guys, it has been already 10 minutes. So we're gonna go ahead and take this off. And now I'm just going to go ahead and rub in the rest of the product in to the skin and down the neck. We're going to go on to the next item in the box and it is the Iconic London Prep Set Glow. And this retails for $29, which looks like this. Let's try. Mmm, smells nice. It still needs to do oh, I like this. It made my skin look glowy and like dewy. 
love that all right you guys i'm gonna go ahead and start off on my makeup so we can go ahead and move on into the next item in the box so i will be right back all right you guys so we're gonna go ahead and move on into the next item in the box um so the next item has to do with brows so that's why my brows look all crazy um and it is the mellow tinted brow gel that retails for $16 which looks like this so I outline my brows just because I like my brows really defined and I know just with a brow gel is not going to really define my brows so that's the reason why I already have them outlined but let's go ahead and try this out let's see if oh hell no Girl, this is so brown like I don't know about this TBH. This is like my brows. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. This is just like really like cafe brown, and I have very dark hair and very dark brows. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just fill in my brows with my Anastasia Dip Brow in the shade Dark Brown because that's just it's it's not gonna work out sorry about that guys but i already know myself and it's just it's just not gonna happen so i'm gonna go ahead and fill them in and then i'm gonna go apply the i'm going to apply the brow gel because honey all right let's try it Oh no. Sorry, I don't like this. My brows are just not this brown and it's making my brows look like very light and I cannot. All right, you guys, so the tinted brow gel did not work out for me just because my hair is black and my eyebrows are black. And this is just way too light for me. Um, it, it really gave it like a very, like if you see in here, it has like a lighter shade to it and that's something that I personally do not like. So this product did not work out for me. I feel like this will look better for somebody that has maybe really light brown hair or maybe like brown hair with a couple of highlights. But for me, this is a no-go. It's way too light for me. Um, so we're going to go ahead and skip this. All right, you guys, so I'm going to go ahead and just finish off doing my brows so we can go ahead and move on into the next item in the box. So I will be right back. All right, you guys, I'm back. I just went ahead and finished off my brows and just apply a little bit of concealer on my eyelids as a primer and a base for the next item in the box, which is actually an eyeshadow palette. And it is the Dose of Colors eyeshadow palette. Uh... I think it's called eyeshadow oh no it's called sassy cms and this palette retails for 32 dollars and it looks like this uh and it's actually cruelty free if you guys are interested and it's cool too because it actually comes with a little brush super cute we'll be using that in a little bit and yeah let's go ahead and get started with the look for today and in this part i just started off with the outer corner bringing it in onto the crease with a wet and wild crease brush in this part i'm just repeating the same steps once again on the other eye and here i'm just packing the eyeshadow onto the eyelid with a packer brush and just repeating the same step with the other eye. In this part, I'm just going back and forth to really define the crease. I'm using the pencil side brush that came with the palette. Now I'm going in with this LA Girl eyeshadow palette. This is the dramatized palette. I'm using the white shimmery shade on my inner corner and I'm using this shade just to really highlight the inner corner and make me look more alive, more awake. And yeah, I'm just basically just putting this on my inner corner. 
Grabbing the brush that came in the palette, I'm just smoking out my lower lash line. All right, you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and just finish off the rest of my makeup so we can go ahead and go in with the last product in the box. So I will be right back. All right, you guys. So now we're gonna go ahead and do the last final product on the box, which is going to be the Hank and Henry Slick With It Mascara Duo. And this is what the mascara looks like. It retails for $19, so let's go ahead and try it out. All right, you guys, so that concludes uh, this month's box. I'm going to go ahead and fix my hair and possibly change into another outfit, and I'll be right back to give you guys my final thoughts on all the products that came in today's box. guys this is the final look and I want to go ahead and give my review on the products that we received in this month's box so let's go ahead and uh, get that started I want to go ahead and start off with this uh, product this is the iconic London prep set and glow I absolutely love this like it made my skin look so glowy it gives you like a glow within to be honest with you guys and I absolutely love that um, especially because my skin is so freaking dry and it has no type of glow whatsoever and I feel like this is just like I love this like I absolutely love this and I'm definitely going to be using it I freaking took a shower with this I was like going in with this product i absolutely love it so this was definitely uh, my top product in this month's box next up we're going to talk about the sassy sienna by dose of colors which is the palette that it came with i love this look like i love my eyeshadow i think it just made me look so freaking cute I freaking love it you guys I hope that you guys enjoyed this eyeshadow look because I absolutely love it I don't know why I have a little bit of glitter on my eyelid I don't know where that came from but yeah so yeah you guys I definitely love this this is my second uh, favorite product from the box and next up we're gonna talk about the Hank and Henry mascara i think this mascara is super cute um and i absolutely love this as well just because it has the two side um wands on it and i absolutely love it because you can use it for your top lashes and your bottom and right now i don't see any flaking going on under my eyes most mascaras tend to flake on me when i put them in my bottom lashes but i see no type of flakes so i'm definitely going to be using this this actually might be a replacement for the L'Oreal Telescopic for me just because the wand is super easy to use and it does not flake. So I absolutely love that about this. Mascara. Next up, we're going to talk about my least favorite product, which is the Mellow Tinted Brow Gel in the shade Light Brown. As I mentioned uh, earlier when I tried it on, my brows are super dark and my hair is super dark. So I definitely did not enjoy this just because of the shade. Um, my brows are nowhere near the shade of this and also my hair. Maybe if I had brown hair with maybe some blonde highlights or something like that, I would have probably enjoyed this more, but this product was just not for me. So I definitely did not like this. This was my least favorite product. And then the last product in the box was the mask. The sheet mask. Um, this was not like 
my favorite favorite i have a lot of sheet masks and i don't think this would be something that i would be reaching out for just because when i apply a sheet mask i want something that really hydrates my skin something that makes my skin feel refreshed and just alive um if you know what i mean and this mask really didn't do much for me it didn't hydrate my skin my skin still felt pretty tight and it says it cleans out pesky acne i mean i still have the acne and promotes quick healing from scarring and sunburn um i guess because i don't have a sunburn i didn't really see the difference i honestly did not see no difference with this mask but maybe that's just my skin that's my personal opinion skincare is different for everybody because everybody has different skin types so yeah you guys this was not one of my favorites either but yeah that's pretty much it i think overall the box was really good i love the eyeshadow i love the mascara i this one was my favorite i absolutely love this so i think it was a win for this month's box all right you guys this is the final look and we come to an end of today's video i hope that you guys have enjoyed today's video don't forget to check out BoxyCharm. I'll go ahead and put a link down in the description box so you guys can go ahead and check them out. If you guys enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel, you guys. That would mean so much to me if you do before you leave. And comment down any questions. What do you guys think about BoxyCharm? Did you guys enjoy October's month? Don't forget to comment down below. And I will see you guys on my next video.